And today we're going to take a look at uh, Flash versus HTML5 performance on mobile devices. First we're going to take a look at uh, the iPod Touch. This is the new version. And this is HTML5 Canvas rendering a ball bouncing up and down. You'll notice it's running at about 24 frames per second. We zoom in and move around. The animation completely stops while we're moving. Um, and then is sluggish to resume again. We zoom all the way back out. The animation continues to be a little bit sluggish, but then jumps back to 24 frames per second. And the target frame rate for this demo is 60 frames per second. So now let's switch over to the Android device. Now this is using uh, Flash Player 10.1. You'll notice that we're running at uh, about 57 frames per second. The ball is bouncing up and down very quickly, as um, expected, as you move around. It does slow down a little bit, but overall it's still performing and moving around even as we're zooming in and out and um, as we're moving around on the page. And so now let's quickly jump back to the um, JavaScript demo. And this is on the um, Nexus One again. And this is running at about 40 frames per second. You'll notice that when we zoom in and move around, um, the HTML5 animation does stop. And then when we let go, it resumes again. So the performance is considerably better on the Android than on the iPod Touch, um, yet the Flash Player version still uh, exceeds um, pretty considerably in, in the mobile market. 